Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for July 20th. On July 20th, 1554, Prince Philip arrived in England to marry Mary I, daughter of Henry VIII, with Catherine of Aragon. Mary's love life, like so much of the rest of her life, was quite sad, and it didn't end well. She had originally been betrothed to Philip's father, the Emperor Charles V, when she was still just a child, but that was called off because the Emperor couldn't wait for her to come of age, and he married a woman with whom he could have children. After Mary was declared illegitimate when her father married Anne Boleyn, her prospects on the marriage market plummeted. When she became queen, she negotiated a marriage with Philip that was deeply unpopular in England. People were afraid that he would become the king of England and add the country to his growing dominions. The English did not want to be subjects of the emperor. Mary seems to have felt that she was in love with Philip, and she believed herself to be pregnant almost immediately after the marriage. Sadly, she would go on to have phantom pregnancies, and eventually Philip left England to see to his other land. But there is much more optimism for an heir and reconciliation with the Catholic Church when he first arrived today, July 20th. That's your Tudor Minute. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.